I start with... No, no, no. Pumapalak pa ka. Bawal dito. This is my hearing. Senator Robin Padilla lost his school during a Senate hearing this afternoon when the discussion centered on Hollywood film Plane. In the hearing, Senator Grace Poe argued that films like Plane are only fictional and should not be banned just because they hurt some of our institutions. Eh, meron naman tayong mga pantapat dyan. At katulad nga na sinabi nyo, itong si 300 na aktor dito sa pelikulang Plane, meron din siyang ginawang London has fallen. O, parang gano'n na pelikula. Akala mo parang mga inutil rin yung mga, mga security forces dyan sa, sa UK. Diba? But we know that's not necessarily true. Director Skilled of the Philippines, President Edward Maley, applauded Poe's statement, but Senator Padilla was offended. Maaring siya yun, nakakapalakpak kayo. Pero kami, sa mga Muslim, hindi kami kailang magpapalakpak. The Muslims will never accept that this movie... The director skilled of the Philippines earlier released a statement opposing the movie's ban, saying it should be allowed in cinemas to invite open debate among viewers. MTRCB Chairman Lala Soto Antonio said her agency has immediately contacted the film's distributor over Padilla's concerns, but she clarified that they do not have to ban the film anymore as the distributor voluntarily pulled the movie out. It means you will not be able to watch it anymore in the country because, again, I reiterate, I'm glad that the distributor was very cooperative. Also, during the hearing, senators also discussed supposedly pornographic content of some videos on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and other online platforms. Poe complained about YouTube having a lack of representatives here in the country to answer the complaints about its content. Uh, paano natin yan? mapipigilan. Meron bang direct uh, communication ang YouTube office mm -hmm. dito sa Pilipinas o lahat or wala? Sa kasulukuyan po, wala po kaming access. But we will assert kapag ah, yes. kailangan. The MTRCB says it supports bills to expand its mandate to cover subscription video on-demand service providers like Netflix, Disney Plus, and HBO Max or Viva Max. While they admit that they could not monitor all movies in these platforms, they can at least address complaints. Hindi po ibig sabihin na kapag kami po ay humihingi ng expansion to our mandate as to the scope, ay ire-review ang lahat ng mga online streaming na pelikula. Wala po kami sinasabing ganon. That is humanly impossible for us to do. What we want is a form of monitoring when we can just post review sa pamamagitan ng pag-entertain ng mga concerns. Soto Antonio also revealed that a memorandum of agreement has been signed between the agency and Filipino streaming platform Viva Max. Under the agreement, Viva Max vowed to conform to MTRCB's classification system as they continue to self-regulate. A liaison officer will also be assigned to receive any complaints from the MTRCB. Soto meanwhile clarifies that they do not wish to cover user-generated content on YouTube and other platforms like TikTok. But if these will be placed under their mandate, then the agency would need additional manpower and budget. For some groups, there is no need to expand the coverage of MTRCB, and what should be encouraged instead is self-regulation. Dapat talaga buwagin na yung MTRCB. Our position is to leave it as is. We're, we're talking about uh, uh, Philippine values. I think one of our major values is freedom of expression, and it is in the Constitution, which uh, it is in the constitutional uh, and it, uh, bill of rights. But Soto Antonio defends the importance of the MTRCB to make sure that Filipino values are being promoted in movies and TV shows.